Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Let's go ahead and hop back in. Uh, okay, yeah, th that's a great start game, just... Suddenly, a whole shit ton of noises. Yep, let's head on down. Start making our way to. Well, that sounds like a wonderful voice, and is exactly what I want to hear. Thank you. Uh, been a little while, just wanted to double check one control. F6 and F7, okay. Just needed to double check those. Okay, now, we don't want to stay here for too long, if we can avoid it. Uh, is that actually the right ammo? No, it isn't. Give it back, I don't want it. So yeah, we're just going to try to get the fuck out of here as soon as possible. Quite grab the ladder as I went down. Fuck that. <laughs> Jesus Christ game, just sudden loud noises, no thanks. What was that? Something crawling around in the walls or some shit. I don't like this. Yeah. Uh, I believe I mentioned last time we streamed this, the game is going to start getting a little bit more into the sort of horror aspects of it. Ouch. He's dead. Uh, he ate an entire magazine. Just gonna note that real quick. There's more right down here. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, that hurt. That first guy ate an entire magazine. And the second one, I just did not have the space to really try and avoid him. Uh, hello. Yeah, light yourself on fire. Where the hell are you going, buddy? Seriously, where were you trying to get to? Okay, let's go ahead and reload and try not to get killed by this guy as we reload. There we go. Did you have for ammo out of curiosity? Not mine. So I don't care for it. Those guys could break the crates, but I don't care enough to. Uh, that's ammo that I don't care about. So drop that. So I literally don't use that ammo. Go ahead and make sure everything's reloaded before we progress. Okay, what am I wearing out of curiosity? Uh, yeah, let's let's switch to this, huh? <laughs> At least one more down there. Because that's the one that killed us. Let's go ahead and quick save again. Pathfinding seems a little broken right now. Okay. That's a little closer than I would like, honestly. Now, I do not, for the life of me, recall what the hell we do down here. Attention. Critical emissions. Leave the area immediately. Okay, that didn't kill him. While we reload, let's do that. Attention. Critical emissions. Leave the area immediately. So I need to get to the very top. Ow. Okay, that hurt. That hurt a ton. That's what you get for rushing. So you don't rush. Who the hell is shooting me? Those guys are dead. Uh, sounds like somebody else is trying to shoot me. Oh no, it's just his gun freaking out. Okay. That's not too bad. Now let's stop sprinting game if you don't mind. I'm pressing F game. Pressing F. It's not doing anything. Is there something else I need to do first that I, I failed to realize? Yes, I'm going to assume there is. I, I failed to do something that is vital. Do I have to interact with each of those consoles down there? Oh my god, I probably do, don't I? I get the feeling that's... Because I was pressing F. It was literally doing nothing. Or is, that, is it just that one? Is my 
my character going stupid now. I don't know where you came from. It was literally just up here and there was nobody there. Yeah, okay. So I think I need to interact with each of those. So let's just go ahead and restart that whole section. Attention. Critical emissions. Leave the area immediately. And uh, we'll do a better job this time. I was rushing just a little too much. That I missed out on uh, simple, simple things. I forgot about that again. So let's just go up top. Shoot him from here. There we go. Unit C12 unlocked. Report to security officer. Unit. I'm passing out. If this is so important, why didn't you explain what you're going there for? And where did... Where did you get this photo from? If you only knew where I've just been and what I saw. <laughs> One day you'll finish badly, Strela. <laughs> Hold on, son. You're going to make it. Where will you go now? To... the north. using my gun, which means he might have ammo for me. Now fuck that. Screw that noise game. Think I killed it? I'm like 20% certain I killed it. Yes, it's dead. Where the hell are you, Strelok? Damn. And dog's gone. I could really do with her help right now. When I get back from the mission, I'm gonna find the guide at the perimeter. He goes there a lot. And he may help me find dog. 
And if Strelok's still alive, Doc will know for sure where to find him. Anyway, that's for later. And now I'm all alone. On this stinking underground mission. Vasiliev doesn't count, he's just a burden which I'll have to protect. Vasiliev lost it at the very last moment. And when the door opened, he ran off instead of deactivating the lower consoles. I shouldn't have relied on him. Strelok was right to mistrust those lying dogs. My only chance is to get to the door before the controller. Okay. Not quite sure what that's supposed to tell me. And I assume we leave the same way we came in. And it looks like that body is constantly setting that thing off. Somebody down there has a gun and is shooting at me. Found him. Okay. Uh, there's another one that spawned somewhere down there. I, think I just saw him. There he is. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here now. I'm pretty sure we'd leave the same way we came in, because it's how these tend to go. You don't usually get uh, an exit close to the very end. Nope, you're not using my gun, I don't care about you. No, sorry, no, don't. Don't do that game. Don't do that. I don't like that. I don't like sudden spooky noises out in the dark. Even if nothing's there, I don't like it. You can do rats, I'm fine with rats. Just don't don't do anything else. No moaning and groaning out in the distance. Okay. Now I know the th things seem to have locked behind us, so the question is, is it still locked? Did it open up? No, it's... it's closed. Oh, god damn it. Forgot about that. So, uh, this close behind us. Oh, please tell me your body is not obstructing this. I would be so pissed off if your body is actually obstructing this. It's telling me to press F to close, which is weird because it's... It's very clearly closed. So, either I missed something... Uh, there's something I do here to actually open it, and I do not recall. Okay, and I am pretty sure this is not going to tell us. It's just going to say, get out of the lab, which, yeah, easier said than done. I hope to God you did not bug this. I would be so pissed off if you bugged this, because I do not have a quick save. That's, that's, I do not have a quick save that is that far back. And I can't seem to grab your body to move it, because I... I know other bodies. I can, like... Yeah, Shift-F to drag. 
but I seemingly can't do that with you, which is weird. Might, uh, give me one second. Okay, yep, I'm an idiot. The way out is back around Ghost, so yep. I was incorrect in this case. Um, I know I did a quick save, but where was it? Uh, I think it might be just a little too far forward to speed up our progress. So, okay. I, uh, I mean, I saw a hole there, but I just figured, you know, that's too small for us to fit through. Yeah, no, I was wrong. It's like just the right size for us to fit through. Do I have energy drinks? I don't. So fucking loud. This is the one I saw, I just didn't figure it was actually big enough for us to fit, but I was wrong. Oh, it's dead, okay. Well, that one didn't eat an entire frickin' magazine like some of them have. Let's not step in the green goop. Okay, nobody here, which is a little creepy. Tried to jump scare us. Okay. I 
clearly see some guys out there that are the zombie-like dudes. Jumpers. Um, I don't seem to have an option to shut this off here. Valve. So I, yep, I just seem to climb over and then go around, I guess, basically. Sounds like the military is here and they're just fucking blowing shit up like there's no tomorrow. Uh, a little close, buddy. I don't see anybody. I imagine there are still more guys out here. Really not a fan of intersections and tunnels. Especially when I'm trying to escape somewhere. I'm almost out of ammo, sadly, with uh, this gun. There's a little bit extra ammo, but not nearly enough. Fuck that. I'll stay back here for a bit. Okay, shooting stops. I don't know what all that flashing was about here off to the left. It seemed to imply the military was shooting at him, but I guess not. Now, military, if you could just be friendly. I, I mean, I know you're not, but if you could just be friendly. Jesus Christ, I th thought I heard something behind me. We're gonna have a bit of an issue here. We're climbing up top. We don't have a lot of ammo for our primary. Okay, now it came. Where, where, where do I take this? Sakharov. Well, where the hell is Sakharov? I assume that's the barkeep. I'd rather you just say barkeep in that case. Uh, yes, I will gladly do that, because uh, I don't know if you sell any ammo. At least, my ammo. 
but I, I would love to stop by. Maybe you can help me. I really don't want to be in the water here because it actually slows us down quite a bit. also very noisy. Not noisy in the sense that it matters for uh, enemies spotting you and whatnot, but noisy in that it's just annoying. Okay, buddy. Do you happen to sell 556 five, ammo? Because I really need some. Like, I have none. You did a splendid job, Marked One. Now that the emissions are turned off, we will be able to order new expeditions and explore previously inaccessible territories. And also, from now on, we will conduct a most favorable pricing policy towards you. Well, that's always nice. Thank you. I don't need a job, though. I need ammo. And you do happen to have my kind of ammo. So, it's great. Absolutely great. Oh, you got a SIVA suit. The suit was produced by one of Kiev's... Uh, Defense Research Institute represents an excellent alternative to stalker handmade suits. It is an excellent combination of a bulletproof vest, a closed cycle breathing system, and an integrated system of anomalous field suppression. Due to the perfect choice of the materials, it is a good choice. The only disadvantage is its price. Rumor has it that the ghost stalker never carries a first aid kit with him. Everything heals on him like on a dog. They say he has an unusual suit that he got on an anomaly. Okay, well that sounds like a nice thing to carry around, so I think we'll be keeping that with us. Healing Beryl, the fabric of the suit is saturated with a... I don't even know. Lotion, which speeds up the healing of wounds. Always great, always great. Uh, you can have the normal one. If you want. I don't mind. Uh, you can also have that 9x19 ammo that for some reason I'm carrying around. I have zero clues to why I'm carrying around 9x19. Because literally both my weapons... Oh no, excuse me. Uh, the one weapon I'm using fires 45, the other one is 9x39. Which is actually that ammo, which I have none on me of. So that is 45,000. Uh, I can't quite afford that. It doesn't really matter, though. Also, that SIVA suit is literally cheaper. It's a little more than half the price of, or a little less, whatever, of the SSP-99M. Question is, is it actually better? I don't know. I actually don't really know the stats right off the top of my head for everything. So it might be better for all I know. Hello? Hello? Let's go ahead and drop the big Ben in there. Um, which suit am I using? Okay, I'm using that one. Uh... Let's see. Okay, so the Healing Beryl is slightly better at bulletproofing by about 10%. But when it comes to various anomalies and melee protection, the Ghost Suit is better. Uh, you're also a little bit better with explosions, but I don't have to deal with explosions that often. It's mostly bullets and then all the other stuff. So I think we're going to keep the ghost suit. And we will drop the healing barrel here. That gets us under our weight. Quick save, and let's leave. Let's head off to the barkeep. I have no idea what the hell those noises out in the distance are.
theoretically, there should be very few enemies in this area, particularly between the outpost and the exit. Because, you know, they did specifically mention, hey, yeah, we uh, called in some military helicopters to clear out some zombies. Plus, you know, we turned off the thing, so the zombies, I guess, are harder to come into existence. Apparently there is a uh, stash literally right up here. Also, is our night vision still garbage? Yes, it is. Because all night vision in Shadow of Chernobyl is straight up garbage. What do we got here? Some anti-radiation drugs and a couple of artifacts. We'll take them so we can sell them. And I actually am starting to get pretty hungry now, so let's go ahead and eat. Now, annoyingly, I don't know of a quick way to get from this side to this side. Like, I thought there was an opening in the fence somewhere, but unless I missed it, there doesn't seem to be. And you can't destroy the terrain. Like, cut through the fences with our knife or anything. So we have to go the long way around, which is just so annoying. It really is. I really wish there was a faster way through. Oh shoot, if I recall correctly, you don't actually want to be at night though in the center there. Somebody mentioned something about nighttime being bad or something. I don't recall the exact specifics of it. I think the implication was that's when more mutants come out or something. Maybe. Okay, that's all clear. left side, and then right side all the way down. Well, actually, what time is it? Yeah, oh, it's th three in the morning. Fuck is that noise? God damn it, enemies are up top again. There's always enemies up here, it seems like. Protivnik! Shot me, that bastard. And that upset some dogs that are out there in the distance. Which means I might need to deal with some dogs! God damn, there's a lot of dogs here. My dog is deciding to open my door. So while they kill the other dude, one second. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, let's switch to our pistol because we got plenty of ammo for that. As long as the dogs leave us alone, I really don't care. They can do what they want. Just leave me the hell alone. Uh, okay. Dogs ran into an anomaly of some sort. Uh, also, that's actually better condition than mine, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. I'm going to go ahead and swap guns, because why not? Uh, oh, that's one I picked up and dropped a while back. these guns up here. No, no, I meant to unload it, damn it game. Where the hell were you? Okay, um, I didn't realize he was right there. He popped around at just the right moment. I swear the area was clear. There was zero indication that there was somebody around. So, okay, got to go and clear that out again. Which is a slight annoyance. They don't come out. I thought I saw the feet of somebody for a second, but apparently, no. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. I don't need to clear these guys out. As long as they leave me the hell alone, they can do what they want. They're, while they're distracted with the dogs, we're going to go ahead and run by. If I can path my way out of here. Because I don't need to kill them. There's zero benefit to killing them at the end of the day. There really isn't. Leave me the hell alone, dog. Uh, those guys, however, I do have to kill because they straight up block my path and there's no alternative route. You sound like there's a monster out there, a mutant. Yeah, there's a mutant out here somewhere. And it sounds like it's like right around this corner. It's, oh, it's a dog. It's a fucking dog. Oh, gun jammed, because of course it did. Really? Already? I fired a couple shots to try and draw him out. God, I really need to find a new gun. Coincidentally, there's a whole bunch I left right here. So any better condition than mine? Yes. Uh, somebody out here is looking for me. Or is looking for somebody, at least. May not specifically be me, for all I know. Uh, we've got some neutrals out to our, uh, what is that? West? No. Oh, should be safe. Uh, of 
course, I didn't pick up any of those artifacts up there. You got anything interesting to tell me? Um, is there actually a way to sneak past you guys? Because you make it sound like there is. Okay, off we go to the barkeep. And... Damn system screwed up. Taskbar is still down there and I don't want it down there. So once we turn this in at the barkeep, I'm gonna save and restart. Why wouldn't they? You're gonna have to deal with a whole bunch of freaking mutants all over the world if it extends far enough. Yeah. Sit, come in. Don't stand there. I would fear its expansion as well. Okay, barkeep. So, Martua, you got the documents from X16? Yep, here they are. Well, Martuan, now we just need to deal with the Scorcher and open the way north. You ready to go now? Sure. Okay, marked one. You've got the protective prototype, so you'll be safe from the emissions. I have the bunker coordinates. When Don't forget that the prototype end. won't protect you forever, so you need to get to the bunker ASAP and turn off the burner. I don't know what will happen after that, but I am sure it will be worth it. The only thing we can be sure of is that the road to the zone center will be open. Go on. All you have to do is get inside the bunker below the antennas and switch them off. You in? Yep. Oh yeah, one last thing. The leader of duty, I marked him on the map, needs a volunteer to carry out some sort of assignment at the military warehouses. If you're interested, you can drop by. I'll talk with the guards. They'll let you in. Got it. I need your ammo, buddy. Ooh. He uh, has the G36 now for sale. Uh, and the VLA Special Assault Rifle. Which is the, what, AS Val or whatever? Military Armored Suit. This SCAT 9M bulletproof military suit is designed for assault operations in areas of anomalous activity. It includes a PSZ-12B heavy military bulletproof vest, an integrated compensation suit, and a Sphere-12M helmet. It provides perfect protection from bullets and shrapnel, and it doesn't decrease the soldier's mobility. It has a balanced system of anomaly protection. Interesting. It's mm. only available for the low, low price of 160,000 rubles. And also the exoskeleton. A military exoskeleton prototype, it never went into mass production because of extreme costs and some design flaws. It is, however, produced in small batches in small illegal factories outside of Ukraine. This is a third generation exoskeleton. The design defects which used to decrease its mobility were eliminated and the armor was reinforced. It provides excellent bullet and shrapnel protection. It has a low level of anomaly protection. So what you're saying is, in general, the armored military suit is probably better? Leave me alone. I would guess. Is bad enough. If I really cared enough to get it, if I really cared enough, I could go and do a bunch of quests. Or find some very, very expensive anomalies. Or artifacts, rather. And sell them. I don't really care enough, though. Honestly. I'm just, I'll take the ammo. Thank you very much. That's the most important thing to me. Come here. I've always got something interesting for people like you. No, you don't. I guess that's fate. Let's go ahead and leave. I'll do a quick save and a reload of the game. Hey, 
Okay, so one second. Okay, and we're back. It's the antennas thing. Um, game... The dude claimed he was gonna mark the uh, leader of duty on my map. But he doesn't actually seem to have. But I assume it's past here where these guards would stop me previously. Stop! Outsiders may not enter. Uh, Barkeep told me that your leadership has some sort of assignment for me. Yes, he let us know about you. Before we let you in, I'm going to brief you on our rules. So listen, Stop. our rules this are simple. Is closed to outsiders. First rule, it's forbidden to shoot on our territory. If you break the rule twice, our patrol will open fire on you. Even if you make a run for it, you won't appear on our territory again. Our guards will make sure of that. If you act calmly, you won't have any problems. Got it. Anything else? Yes, that's it. You can pass. Uh, okay, why don't you let in outsiders in? Where did you naive boys come from? There's a war going on, right? We're freedom fighter bandits. Or we're fighting freedom bandits, rather. <laughs> we have regular skirmishes with our fighters in the wild territories. A war with freedom? Why? Because there is no place for those freedom bandits in the zone. They must be destroyed. If you're interested, go ask the barkeep to explain everything. I'm busy. Oh, okay. Sure. Well, got no problem. Thanks for letting me in. Again, the barkeep failed to actually mark the leader on our map, so I'm kind of blind here. What are you, Dave? What are you here? I'm listening. Uh, barkeep told me that you have some assignment for me at a military warehouse. I want to ask you to do one thing personally for me, you see. We're in the midst of territorial warfare with the Freedom Faction, and we need some weapons and more powerful... Or we need some weapons more powerful than what we have. Freedom has some excellent Bulldog 6 grenade launchers. If you could penetrate their territory and steal at least one such grenade launcher, I would generously reward you. Since you aren't in our faction, you can quickly gain the trust of Freedom. And if you're lucky, get a hold of the Bulldog 6. Go on. I'll up the location of the Freedom base for you. You'll need to find the Chief. He's a member of Freedom. He knows where the RG6s are kept. And he likes his booze, so bring a lot of vodka with you. So, what do you say? Sure, I'll try to steal a Bulldog 6 from Freedom. Oh, and one more thing. Captain Skull and his boys disobeyed my order and decided to attack the Freedom base without authorization. Well, they can reap what they sow, suicidal bastards. Don't get involved in their fight. Just try to get me the Bulldog 6. Nothing else matters. Okay, and you got nothing to sell me. <laughs> Do you guys happen to have a shop down here? Uh, well, Oleg Mammoth there has a couple of uh, vodka, well, has a vodka bottle, rather, that he sells, but you guys don't seem to have a shop. At least not that I can see. Could you, could you move, buddy? You're in my way. Oh my god. Am I going to have to wait for you to go out this hallway so I can get through? Seriously? Oh. Oh, okay, that just loops around. 
That was a waste of my time. Got inside. Oh, is it not in here? It's not fucking in here, is it? The hell is that? Oh, that's a light. It looks a little weird. Hey, there's nothing in here. For some reason, this was just blocked off because of reasons. I guess. Only conclusion that I can provide. Okay. Well, it seems like it is in there. Because it ain't on this tower. But I didn't see anything in there. Oh. It was, uh, literally the electricity box here. The power box, rather. Okay, the Freedom Base is on our way to the antennas, which requires going through the Red Forest. That'll be fun to go through, I imagine. Okay. What the hell is this music? I could go and sell that artifact that we just picked up to the barkeep if I wanted to. There's no immediate need to do so, however, so we're just not going to bother. How much ammo do we got? Uh, I think that is a sufficient amount. Could be better. Okay, that guy literally came out of nowhere behind me. Done with these buddies. I'm not helping you guys, just so you know. Got what they deserved. Stinking anarchy. Oh yeah, they're done. I ain't helping you guys. Just taking the shit that's here. Especially if it's in any way relevant to me. Drop, drop, drop. They didn't have any ammo. Okay, there is a anomaly in the road there, so I have to go up above. I gotta stick close to these guys that I don't want to stick close to. Which is not fun. I don't want to be anywhere near them. Opportunity, at least. Who the hell are all the people right up here? 
Oh, shit ton of duty, folks. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit more first. There behind that hill is the main breeding ground of those bastards, the free ones. And me and my boys are going to stir it up properly. There's just one little problem. The base has only one entrance, and it is well guarded. We thought of busting a hole in the fence, but their sniper in the tower won't let us. I don't want to send my guys to catch his bullets, but you... He'll let you come close and definitely won't shoot on sight. If you take him out, we'll owe you. Plus, if it goes as planned, you'll be able to take any equipment at the base. Whatever you want. Okay. Well, the general said not to get involved in their fight because Skull here is a suicidal bastard. Go on. I've already told you. All you need to do is knock off the sniper at that tower above the fence. So, what do you say? What are you staring at, scumbag? So, we could go. We could do this. Um, the question is largely a, do they have enough people to actually support us when they go in? Uh, cause we just need to get the, we just need to get the, uh, the grenade launcher. Anything beyond that is completely irrelevant. The actual method doesn't matter. We just need to get it. So we do have the option of go in assassinate the sniper on the wall or in the tower over watching the fence and then these guys come in and just kill everybody else for us maybe it's a it's a nice easy strategy generally minimal risk i would say uh because we should be able to get in get close to the guy and we have a silenced pistol it's an option it's an option uh you know what i think we'll go for it that's great. As soon as you take them out, we'll start the fireworks. Anything interesting you can tell me? No? Okay. Uh, do you feel like buying any of these fireballs? Because I apparently have three of them. I don't need three of them. And for some reason, the game always loves selling the one you have equipped. Even though selling the one you have equipped should always be the last thing it attempts to sell. Maybe that's just me that thinks that that makes sense. Hey! Watch where you're shooting, buddy! Ow! Jesus Christ! Bastard shot me! How do I approach? Okay, um... Not the... They claim there's only one entrance, but the map clearly seems to indicate there's a second entrance. Like, there's literally a hole in the fence, it looks like, there. But I guess I'm supposed to approach via the road. Which, I mean, I can do. I'm fine with that, if that's the way it works. I think that's why the guy shot me is because I was approaching in a different direction. Uh, that guy seems ready for a fight for some reason. Hey guys. Okay. Uh, these guys seem to be aggressive for some reason. Can I can I just literally waltz in? Is it is it actually that simple? You guys are just gonna let me waltz in? No, asking who are you? What are you doing here? Because, I mean, we, we we can do that. I would think you'd want to ask the dudes at the gate, but literally the dudes at the gate just let us fucking walk in. So, uh, okay. I don't know why these guys are so gung-ho to fight right now. 
Like, they're all aggroed on something. They don't know what. I think they're already aggroed on the duty dudes down below. Which I feel is surprising, to say the least. Because I feel like they should be too far away to be aggroed. That doesn't seem to be the case. Are you gonna actually make me return to you guys, or can you... Are you just gonna approach? Because I kinda need you to just come. What the hell was this? Oh, uh, what is that, dragon off? No, not Dragonov, because Dragonov's not bullpup. And that thing is very clearly bullpup. Can't see him and this. Nope, oh, he's still there. I kind of need you guys to, uh, push. Don't mind. Very much appreciated. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, see, we got a bit of an issue. The duty dudes, they're not pushing. They're worth under teammates. They don't understand the concept of pushing. I, for the life of me, can't tell if that's duty or freedom. That is duty. Also, these guys were very quick to aggro after I killed the sniper. I, I already killed him. How the fuck? Game. He's literally dead. He was literally the first guy I killed. Uh, what the hell was that? Someone just fired a grenade launcher at me. I think someone did. Okay. What was that? Was that an anomaly that got set off on the road? I think it was. Okay, well, let's head down. Oh, shit, somebody... I can't see you. Did I get him? I think I got him. There's somebody else over here. Was a bit of a steeper drop than I thought. Okay, wonderful. Uh, what ammo was this using? That. Wonderful. I'll take that. 
a whole bunch of bodies piled up right here by this hole in the wall that you guys claimed that there was only one entrance. Can I steal your exosuit? Nope, okay. Watch out, left one, or you'll catch a bullet in the head real quick. Uh, that'd be a little hard for you to do considering, you know, you're dead. It's a little hard for a dead guy to shoot someone. At least last time I checked. Okay, now to find the dude who had the grenade launcher. Which is going to be a fun process, because it means going through a whole bunch of bodies. One of them will be the right one. I just don't know who. your gun way down here I guess I assume one of those was his we'll steal all their ammo because we need it uh okay they did survive wonderful a uh, stash in here, which I'm a little surprised by. Come on. Out of the way. Go. Go. I, I wish I could shift F this, but I can't. Oh, lots of vodka back there. Come on, game. Knock it over. Please. God damn it. I'm just gonna have to try to grab what I can by running up against this. I think that's everything? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. It's such a crappy, gamey way to do that. Uh, what the hell is that? Okay. Uh, not what I'm looking for. And fire is a very different ammo type, so I don't care about it. Yeah, there's some bodies out here. Thing is, I don't know where the hell Chief or whatever his name was is. I just dropped the grenades. I don't use them. Um, yeah, so it looks like I may have to, uh, literally scavenge the base to try to find the dude with the, uh, grenade launcher. So that'll be a, oh, that'll be fun. Apparently I didn't get everything in that stash because it's still showing up on my map. You definitely didn't have it. Because you're a duty dude. And I'm not looking for duty dudes. I, I don't know if I was the one that killed him. Like, I have zero clue if he died out here. In which case, he was probably killed by one of these guys. Or if he died inside, in which case I was the one that killed him, and I just gotta find him. There's a handful of bodies there that I haven't checked. Ah, uh, who are you? Your knuckles, okay. That's not handsomely, but okay, thanks. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, they're, they're already taken care of. I mean, yeah, I, I, I literally completed the task before you even gave me the mission. Who the hell's down here? That's neutral. Okay, random duty dude. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've checked everybody that's down here already. So he must be inside. Oh no, here's Chief. And we were told about a stash. But I don't think it's the stash... Is it not here? Where is it? I see the shotgun. But I'm not seeing a grenade launcher on him. Or even around him. And... Did somebody just get attacked? No? Okay, I swear I heard a mutant. Oh, game, please do not send the grenade launcher flying. I really hope the game did not send it flying. They killed Slavka. Bastards. 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 Number seven. Get a grip on yourself. Uh, no. I didn't want to pick that up, game. Chaser 13. Uh, that is another sniper. Which one is in better condition? That one is. So drop the one in crap condition. You do not have a grenade launcher. Is maybe the grenade launcher locked up somewhere and I need to find it? Maybe. Which, this is a fairly large place, so that's going to be a, a bit of a task. Maybe it's close to where he's supposed to be, which I think was, like, right up here. Oh, there's still somebody out here that's hostile. There's a freedom dude who did not die. Ow, Jesus, you were accurate. He was pinpoint accurate. Uh, there's one dude out here I killed. Let's go check him. And we found Chief. He was down in the village. So I can only assume the grenade launcher is somewhere inside here because it was not on his corpse. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, take cover. Uh, who's shooting over here? I swear I heard gunshots and saw particle effects of somebody shooting, like, right back here. But, okay. Somebody in the tower? Yeah, somebody in the tower. Or next to it, one of the two. way up here? Well, I mean, obviously there is. I just need to find out where it is. Uh, it is not on this side, that's for certain. Let's go back around this side, then. I saw somebody out in the distance running across the bridge before I saw those two guys approaching us on the mini-map. our light so we can see a little bit better.
So, where do you guys have your armory? Is my oh, salami, wonderful. Hmm, some bread too, and I'm full. Well, I need to eat anyway. So, which one is heaviest again? Forest delight. Well, this is the kitchen, clearly. So, not what I'm looking for. Three people. Game's just not telling me where they are, though. Just that there are three people picked up. There. Is that the armory, maybe? And this is the motor pool, clearly. And I assume you guys don't leave it here in the motor pool. I feel like that'd be bad design. Okay. Two more guys being picked up. Ah, uh, this is probably it. Well, this is definitely an armory. I'm not seeing the weapon in question unless it's on here. No, it's an M203. Uh, which is actually in better condition than mine, so let's uh, swap. Okay, I have a grenade launcher and a sight. Will I use the grenade launcher? Probably not, and I'm still overweight. Damn, I'm still overweight. God damn, is that grenade launcher actually that freaking heavy? Um is that teardrop doing? Why is it moving on its own? I've never seen them do that before. Okay. Just gonna ignore that. Don't care for that ammo. Okay, come on. Who has the grenade launcher? Because I did not see it outside. I see grenade. Oh, god damn it! I picked something up. What did I pick up? Uh, I don't know. I have everything cranked up to the max, but I'm not running any mods that actually improve the texture quality. So those are the grenades to launch, but where's the... Uh, whatever it's called. Uh, six. Bulldog six? Yeah, I think that's it. Those are locked. Okay, I mean, I I kind of thought the grenade launcher would be in here. Oh, there it is. I need to clear out my inventory because I can't carry all this crap. Yeah, that ain't going to actually clear it up much now, is it? Uh, that is four. That'll help quite a bit if I were to drop it. I don't really need 300 rounds of 45. I don't use the pistol that much. So let's drop some of this. That's 150 rounds, maybe? I think that'll still have us overweight, though. Yep, still a little overweight. Well, he never asked us to bring him any grenades. So...
Uh, but I got a fancy new grenade launcher on my thing that I'll probably never use, honestly. No, I'll, I'll, I'll keep the grenades. Screw it. I'll keep the grenades. I might use them. Maybe. Probably not. And, uh, I don't know. Eat a whole bunch of bread or something? Yeah, screw it. We'll just eat a whole bunch of crap. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this weapon in, because damn is it heavy. Yeah, six kilograms. There's a couple more stashes in this area. If I had the carry weight, I would probably check them out, but... We don't have the carry weight. The only complaint I would have with this game is that the carry weight I feel is just a little too low. Personally. Especially if you're someone whose like, livelihood basically depends upon going out there and finding as much crap as you can, bringing it back and selling it for money. I feel like if you're somebody who does that for a living, you'd probably be able to carry a fair bit of stuff, and you'd probably also have a fair bit of equipment that helps you carry more stuff easily, like a backpack. I just feel like 60 kilograms is a little low. So admittedly, also. How much is 60 kilograms anyway? At 130 pounds. Got stuck on a car because I'm not looking at my screen. Oh, I thought we were further. Freeze down! Are you guys literally walking through a field of anomalies and you're getting yourselves killed? God, duty are idiots. Somebody, an average person, untrained, should be able to lift somewhere between like 135 and 170 pounds. At least, you know, if they're like doing bench presses. Don't know how much that actually would equate to carrying around a bunch of garbage in your backpack or whatever. But, yeah. I feel like the carry limit is a little low. I might be wrong, but I think the exoskeleton does actually improve your carry weight a little bit, but it is so damn expensive. And it doesn't have great anomaly protection, so... It does actually improve your carry weight. You get the downside of... Well, you don't have much protection against anomalies. What are you, Dave? What are you here? You brought the Bulldog 6? Yep, here it is. Good work, Stalker. This is exactly what we need. Well, Marked 1, you carried out my request, and in return, you can take this suit. I think you'll like it. Will I really? It is a PSZ 9MD Universal Protection. 
Let's see. A wonderful protective suit for the zone. Stalkers appreciate it because it combines excellent anomaly proof and bulletproof qualities. It includes the uh, PSZ90 suit, a closed cycle breathing system, and an integrated system of anomalous field suppression. Provides quality bullet protection and a shrapnel protection. Okay. I suppose that is actually decent, but how does it actually compare to mine? Add to that, the mine also is a special stalker suit that will heal me over time. Thanks for the follow, Texas El Paso. So how does this actually compare? Uh, quite a bit better burn protection and electroshock protection. Same impact, better rupture, a lot better radiation, better chemical, uh, better... Okay, yeah, that seems better all across the board. Which guy? Oh, and... Oh, crap. Okay, we're, we got a bit of a problem. He gave me a suit, now I'm overweight. Uh, I guess I can drop this one. Oh, me? What, you mean the, uh, the character model or something? <laughs> oh, the, hello there. Just gonna walk up to me and stare at me. Now to find a spot to go and stash that other suit. Because the one he gave me is quite a bit better. Okay, how heavy is this? Will this get me underweight again? Nope. I'm still going to be about 3 kilograms overweight. Come in! Don't stand there! You, that's the first time you've said it this time. Any anomalies to sell? Nope. Okay, well, uh, let's see. Do we want to make our way to the Red Forest? Potentially even make our way through it. Oh no, I guess this is actually inside that same region, so we wouldn't quite be making our way through it. Black Raven, Black Raven, the grave. This doesn't seem like it's that long of a trek. Yeah, no, we were already about halfway through. I don't recall if the Red Forest has a bunch of anomalies in it. I think it does. You know, we never actually checked out the arena. Where is it again? Oh, right here. The world fears the zone's expansion. Join duty and save the innocent. Yo, I've got a new fight for you. Go on. So, your first fight. Your opponent is a piece of meat just like you. He's here because of debts and he only has two options. To come out and fight or to land himself in the nearest anomaly. He's gonna fight like a cornered animal. Equipment for today? No oh, thank. Okay. Why don't you use... You two use PMMs. Two magazines each should be plenty. Either you kick his arse or we feed you to the dogs. Not much of a choice. 
Go on now. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Fresh pieces of meat to the arena. One of them will become dark. Uh, you say two magazines each, but that's definitely more than two magazines each. Thousand ruples. That's not much. Let's go back in. Your last fight didn't mean shit. You're still the same bees of meat you were before, and no self-respecting person will bet a single mag on you. If you want to earn some proper cash, you're gonna to have to make a few more appearances in the arena. Your new opponent also got through the first round, and his fight was a lot harder than yours. I don't like him to be honest. He kills too quickly, and the crowd doesn't like that. So, go and show us what you can do. The stakes will increase after this fight. All you gotta do is stay alive. Move it. What'd you give us for equipment this time? Uh, looks like if we have the same equipment, looks like we got the MP5 thing. Yep. Not a lot of ammo though. Not a lot of ammo indeed. want that to be over that quickly but it's kind of weak come on here's your reward see ya quick save again let's go in well well you're not as much of a pussy as you first seemed now it's time to test you in a real fight you're up against two guys the first one's called swede and i don't remember the second one's name they were paired up intentionally as they hate each other's guts so don't worry about them working as a team they're more likely to shoot each other Today's rifle day, so don't let them get too close or we'll have to pick you up piece by piece. The odds are 10 to 1, so if you win, you'll make a fair amount. Off you go. I'm ready. Let's go. So it's a 2v1 against guys that apparently don't like each other. Uh, you said rifle day. That's not a rifle game. That is most certainly not a rifle. And you did not give me a pistol to back it up. Ow. go. I took a hit, which is not fun. You won. Here's your reward. Thank you very much. Now, if you don't mind, did you put my shit away somewhere? You did. Kind of got to heal myself. If you don't mind, thank you very much. Well, now I can safely say that you're a fighter, a real fighter. Now it's time for a team fight. You get to fight with two rookies, two brothers on your side. They haven't fought yet, but they're brothers, so I had to put them into a team fight. I wouldn't expect any real help from them if I were you. You're fighting an experienced team. They're contenders for this season, or for the, eh, for the final this season. A dangerous lot. They use different weapons, but one has an automatic shotgun. Be very careful with them. Good luck, pal. You're going to need it.
that guy can take a beating. One down. I assume that's the experienced guy. There we go. Uh, I got seven rounds left. Okay, whew. Okay, god, that was not fun. You got a special fight today. Even the army has heard about you. Don't be surprised, they fight here too. There's even a general in the crowd. These guys are from the Spetsnaz, or the... Or from... O-M-O-N. Oh, excuse me. They're well armed and their armor is good as you'd expect. Don't worry though. I ain't gonna leave you out in the rain either. You'll get a vest used by freedom. It's light so it won't slow you down. Go on. Show them the stalkers ain't no whipping boys. Oh, the amazing marked one now it sounds like. What do I get? Okay, this thing. <laughs> the thing is, because there's two of them, I need to keep my eye out. On being flanked. I was going for headshots, or at least trying to, but so much cover, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Not a fan of them seeing me first. These guys are actually real pains. This weapon also does not seem to do much damage to them with their armor, it seems like. We're just gonna go ahead and continue on, I think. Um. Oh, though this doesn't apparently work with uh, these grenades at all. Yes, okay. Uh, that, that makes sense. Okay, let's go and sell these then. I had zero reason to pick these up previously in that case. 
нашим артефакт. Я же ему не в трусы положу. Я как полагается, на цепру желтявую, чтоб все как у людей. That should help clear up our inventory a tad. I said come in! Don't stand there! Barkeep. Hey. Barkeep. Oh, come on. Thank you. He's like, I'm just gonna ignore him. If I ignore him, he'll go away. Really? Still over our limit? Yes, we are, but not by as much. What's up? How goes it? Still alive? That's great. So, I've got some side projects I need to work on, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to get to the exit that takes us into the Red Forest, and we will save actually entering the Red Forest for next time. Quick save before we do any zone transitions. It's okay. the road here because of the anomalies right there. Okay, some sort of firefight off to our left. This is actually a radioactive area. Okay. Take your word for it, I guess, game. Not taking any, but then again, I have a decent amount of protection against radiation on me. And that's not even including the plus 90% that uh, the suit I'm wearing has. button. Are you friendly? Okay, you're neutral. That's the important bit. What are you guys, though? Loner. You keep in mind that the brain scorcher is close. Don't even think about heading north. Anything interesting you can tell me? But every day there's more and more crap coming out of the scorcher, and the guys from Duty and Freedom decided to bitch around each other. Or, excuse me, to bitch around again. Uh, so they'll kill each other off, and then what? How long can we hold the border all by ourselves? Well, um... 
Whoopsie daisy, maybe I shouldn't have gone and murdered everybody in the, uh... Freedom area. You got a job for me? Uh, nothing for the moment, okay. Right at the end of that road. Ah, uh, there's an anomaly up, or excuse me, a stash up here. Secret stash of the high altitude worker. Is that because he used to be a high altitude worker and game or OBS? I never told you to bring up a button for doing naming transitions. What the hell is that shit about? Military dudes, it looks like, are potentially defending the passage to the Brain Scorcher. Unless those are freedom, because we did kind of piss them off. It's possible they're freedom. Oh my god, they, they, oh wow, okay, they saw me from way the hell out there. Uh, when was my last quick save? Okay, right over here where these guys were. Okay, let's try that again. I didn't realize they detected me because I didn't hear any noise of their footsteps or anything as they approached. I only realized that they detected me when I saw that dude poking his head around the corner at me. Also, I heard what sounded like a mutant nearby. Ah, uh, that'd be these guys, I assume. So let's take care of those guys, so we don't gotta worry about them. Do another quick save, and let's clear out this, I guess. Map is picking up one more guy. I think these are freedom. Yeah, these are freedom, and they're upset with me because I kind of sort of murdered everybody in their fortress. What do we got? Uh, ammo that I can't use. Because I don't use any of the rounds or any of the guns that use it. I'll take those and the bandages. And there's an enemy down here. Two of them. These guys are completely ignoring me. And there's a firefight across the way. I don't know who's fighting who. It's freedom against somebody. Military, maybe? Or bandits? I don't know. Uh, holy shite, that's a lot of people. What? 
the hell is that guy doing? I don't know what that guy's doing. Those are clearly enemies. Are you- oh, are you guys the same faction? I can't tell. I don't even know who the hell you guys are. I don't know who these guys are. Uh, but they've spotted us, so time to deal with them. I wish I had the, uh, grenades for this grenade launcher now. Because that'd actually be pretty useful. Use so much freaking ammo for these guys. Let's push up a little bit so I can get hopefully some better shots. There is, uh, ooh, still a fair couple of guys out there. God, I hope these guys have 5.56 five, ammo, because I really need it now. Blown like 300 rounds. Somebody out there who can apparently see me well enough to at least try and take shots. Thought I killed you. Oh, it's the dude hiding behind the bus here. And I can't get him. At least not from right here. If I had the grenades for this grenade launcher, I could have dealt with a whole group of them fairly early on. One more. Hanging out by the bus, unless he's down. He might be down. No, he ain't down. Oh no, he has a friend, actually. Uh, no, I'm still picking up one more dude. My compass thing. And this guy is not exposing himself, which is actually very annoying. Oh no, he was down. That's why he wasn't exposing himself. It's a little hard to do that when you're on the ground. Leading out. Of course, these guys aren't using 556, five, they're using Asvals and other things. Actually, the Asvals is probably not a terrible weapon. Uh, better damage, slightly less accuracy, better handling, lower rate of fire. You know what? The Asvals is probably actually a decent option. 
Main thing is now, I kind of need to find myself a Russian site. Which... I think... There was one back at the... Freedom Hideout? I think? We don't know that for certain. Better condition, let's take it. Yeah, it looks like okay, change of plans. This thing is actually probably better in many ways. It does have a smaller magazine, which is a bit of a count against it. That's not a severe issue, especially with the extra damage it does. I think I need to find a place to set this aside. It would probably be, I guess, that farmhouse that the duty guys were hanging out at. I think there was a the crate things there. But yeah, I think the armory and the freedom hideout had a Russian site. I think that's where I'm gonna have to go to get that. these guys had to have had Yazval. Oxide. Who the hell were these guys anyway? Monolith. Okay. We're going to start running to Monolith dudes now it looks like. And uh, I guess Freedom doesn't like them. Presumably Duty doesn't like them either. She doesn't give me any info on uh, Monolith whatsoever here. Uh, not a whole lot of ammo, though, is the downside. I actually have picked up surprisingly little ammo for the Asval here. Now that I think about it, I think some of the Freedom dudes back at the their little hidey hole back here might have had some. I think? Maybe? No. Actually, yeah, yeah. I, I think a couple of them might have been using guns that used the same ammo, but they, they weren't using the Azval itself. They are using some assault rifle thing that used the same ammo. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, pick up some ammo and do a quick save because it's been a little while. I'm going to take your word for it that there are mines there and I'm going to get on the road. Just to be on the safe side. That's it for the... Uh, Armory. See if we can find ourselves a, a scope there. Oh shit. I just saw my buddy get shot. That's how he knows there's somebody out there wanting to kill him. But maybe I only wanted to kill your buddy. Maybe you're fine. I'll let you go. But your buddy had to die. Because your buddy's a bad guy. Am 
Am I supposed to believe that uh, these guys have set up shop here again already, or is it not a full camp? No, I kind of get the feeling it might be a full camp. Yeah, it's got a fair few guys. Let's switch to the... Quite a few of them coming now. come. They're perfectly safe. Don't worry. Ignore all the dead bodies. And ignore your buddies getting shot right in front of you. It's perfectly safe. Oh. Somebody... Shot at me from a decent distance away, it seems like. Because I heard, like, as soon as I moved back inside, a shot, like, whizzed right past me. I wasn't planning on picking up more 5.56 five, ammo, but I guess we'll do it. again, buddy. Manage ourselves. map again. Damn. You guys refilled this place so damn quickly. Uh, I guess if I need to get 556 five, ammo and I have a bit to spare to get more, this is a decent option. I would normally go about getting more ammo, but I guess it works. Don't want to go it. I thought there was a site in here, but apparently I was incorrect in my memory. Yes, it seemed that I was incorrect. Okay then. That guy was fucking sneaky. Okay. I guess video from uh, some sort of demo. 
potentially done, I guess, when the game was announced, would be my guess. Really? Is this actually an impervious crate? Oh my god, it is. Why? Could you not? Could you guys not be sneaky like that? Please and thank you. He was very slow to react to being shot. To the point that he didn't react at all. Okay, you know what? Uh, we're going to go ahead and set up shop over here. At the farmhouse. And I think we'll end this stream there. Bit of a shorter stream, like I said. I got side projects I need to work on. Side projects that, of course, have the theoretical ability to uh, help the channel out. That's just kind of a side effect of their existence. That uses the same item as this, correct? Yes. Uh, but you had the special ammo loaded. No, I don't want the special ammo. Because that's extra shit to carry around and I don't care for it. Okay, I guess a bunch of new duty dudes took over? Yeah, a bunch of new duty dudes. Because I no longer am friendly with any of them. Yeah, yeah, I know. I thought there was a place to set up here. I don't know if there's like a blue crate, but I guess this crate works just as well. Let's go and dump the Asval and its ammo in here. Here, uh, bandages and then ammo I don't care about. Also, let's try again with this stash, because apparently I missed something in this stash. I don't know what. I swear the game indicated I got everything. And I can't break this barricade annoyingly. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding F. The game usually... When you're close enough and you hold F, it tells you if there's items there, but I'm not seeing anything. So as far as I'm concerned, I... I got this stash entirely. The game's just deciding to say, nah, we don't think you did, unless there's something on the other side? Oh, something on the other side. Maybe? No, that didn't count. Wind of Freedom suit. Light stalker suit equipped by the gunsmiths of the Freedom Faction. It consists of a light military bulletproof vest with reinforcing Kevlar plates. It can protect from weak weapons. The fabric of the suit is treated with a special mixture which increases anomaly uh, activity resistance. I don't care about that. I have a much nicer suit. Okay, we're just going to ignore that. So, we'll be back with more Stalker tomorrow, where we will be heading into the Red Forest. Down that away. So, 
go ahead and do a save and we'll oh wait another medkit how did i miss the medkit i saw the bandage and the ammo but i didn't see the medkit okay whatever so i will see you all tomorrow like i said where we will be playing more stalker shadow of chernobyl we will head on into the red forest attempting to make our way to the brain scorcher to shut it down i want to say i think we're fairly quickly approaching the end of this game um the original plan was to go and do a playthrough of the trilogy back to back i don't know if that'll still be the case uh i guess we'll see when the uh when we finish this game but i i may actually decide to go and do something else instead of immediately jumping into I think it's Clear Sky is the second game. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with the channel, changes to my schedule and all, I would highly recommend you join the Discord server. That is my go-to place for posting about channel updates. Uh, sometimes I remember to post elsewhere. Don't count on it. Like I said, if you want to know what's going on and changes to the schedule, I recommend joining the Discord. But I will see you all next time. Until then... Goodbye and farewell.